Among the rivers swollen with runoff from the rain is the Susquehanna. Alex Dimitrik reports spill gates are now opening up at Conowingo Dam, and that's producing worry about what's coming downstream. Even if all our recent rains let up, the effects from all that water are far from over. To ease pressure on Conowingo Dam as runoff floods the Susquehanna, 13 spill gates were opened. And with all that unleashed power comes genuine worry about the catastrophic impact this is going to have downstream for the commercial fishery and the environment here in the Chesapeake Bay. The worry centers on what's behind the dam. It's above Conowingo Dam is a 14-mile reservoir that for the last 90 years has been filling with sediment that's contaminated with other pollutants. In 2011, Tropical Storm Lee sent a sediment plume as far south as the Potomac River, devastating the upper part of the bay. Conditions could be shaping up to do it again as all that trapped sediment gets scoured out of the reservoir. This volume of, of water and the turbulence grabs what's, what's sitting up there and hurls it into the bay. Exelon, which owns the dam, is locked in a lawsuit with Maryland over who should pay to remove the sediment. But as the river continues to rise, a fix is a long ways off. What's coming is not. There's going to be millions of tons of sediment come down the bay covering oysters. Uh, what crabs can't get out of the way, it's going to drive the fish. It's going to destroy the grasses and it's, it's going to be of epic problems. And there is a very real possibility even more spill gates will be open during the next few days.